we have just established that polynomials can be considered vectors. So in that context, let me ask you the following question. Is this polynomial a multiple of this one? And the answer is, no, it's not. And this answer might surprise some of you because clearly this polynomial is x times this polynomial. So what gives? Well, we're now talking about polynomials as vectors. And when you're talking about objects as vectors, all you're allowed to do with them is add them together and multiply them by numbers. And x is not a number. It's another polynomial. So in just about any other context, the correct answer to this question would have been yes. If someone had asked you this question in eighth grade algebra, the correct answer would have been yes. But now, in the context of linear algebra, the correct answer is no, because there isn't a number that you can multiply this polynomial by and obtain this polynomial as a result. So in linear algebra, the answer is no. And if you were initially surprised by this answer, then by the time the surprise wears off, you should focus on the positive takeaway. And the positive takeaway here is that linear algebra is a relatively uncomplicated subject. And even when you're dealing with the kind of object that you can do other sorts of things with, as was the case with polynomials, then we simply ignore those other actions and focus on the vector aspects of the objects we're working with. And that's adding them together and multiplying them by numbers.